what it takes to make collodial silver will be distilled water. Whoop. A little bit too much, but that will work. Okay, something to read the water measurement with. So I will turn it on. You see that it says zero. Okay, I'll stick it in the water. Right now, and I'll press hold. There is nothing in that water. It's still reading zero. Okay, turn that off. Shake it off. Okay, I'm going to snap these 9 volt batteries. See how they are? You take this big end, snap it to the little end. Same way with this battery. Like this. Then you set them like this. Get your leads. And you hook up. negative and positive then I have to go get the silver rods then you take your silver 9999 whatever there's they're silver made from real silver you stick them in the glass like this probably an inch apart would be good closer turns the uh, silver rods blacker quicker and I don't know if that's something that you want then you take the other ends of the leads right here move the batteries you hook one, it doesn't matter which one you hook where, to this one. Then you hook the other one to the other one, as so. And then, I personally let this set, oops, try and get it closer. I'll let it set and make for 10-15 minutes. And that's what it's doing. It's producing the collodial silver. Now I'm going to show you something else that you can use if you don't have silver rods. But don't use coins. I'll be right back. Okay, now, sorry I was gone for a minute, but now, this is silver bullion bars. They are 999.9. .9. You can use these. Doesn't matter as long as they're silver bullion bars. There's Here's a different one. Different, yeah, I'll just show you they're all different. This one, this one. And then I don't use silver dollars. Or any type of silver coin. I use small 20 gram silver I also use these types you know any silver will do I mean as long as you stay away from coins these will these are sufficient enough to make silver with 
and I'm making silver right now with these rods. Oh, them, them are all silver bars. There's more, but there's no need to get them out. That's just to demonstrate. These are some rounds. And no, I'm not selling them. This is just for demo purposes. But you see how I got my batteries. Now I've got them snapped. I get 27 volts into them rods right there. And it's going down into the water. And you people that are familiar with hydrogen generators and how when you're making hydrogen generators how the um, stainless steel leaches off into the water turning your water different colors and wearing out your stainless steel plates and stuff well that's similar to what this here is doing it's leaching the silver into the water so anybody that knows about hydrogen and how to do it you know hydrogen fuel cells so that's already at two ah, let's see and it's good to uh, take your water I didn't do it and it works real faster is to take your water and heat it up on the stove I don't prefer the microwave just heat it up in a pan on the stove pour it back in the cup and put these rods in it my water is cold right now and what you're making is what you this much right here costs thirty five dollars what is in this bottle right here is eight ounces I don't know if you can read that right there eight ounces that cost and here's the box let's see where the price go on the box okay here's the box $35.99 for 8 ounces when you can make this at home what I've got in here right now in this bottle is some that I made and uh, I put it back in this bottle or this that I'm making now will actually go in this old beer bottle I cleaned it very very thoroughly and it's a brown bottle and when you store this you want to store it in a brown bottle because the Sun will damage the silver colloidal silver and make it weaker so you don't want that to happen store it in a brown bottle if you don't have a brown bottle wrap your bottle like this if you have a bottle like this one and yes it is a bottle wrap it with tape keep it in the dark so now you know this is how you do it leave that on there for about 15 minutes use warm water and when you're done you can order if you want you can order one of these oh, I had it on hold okay you can order one of these off of eBay it tests the waters parts per million my distilled water had zero parts per million so after you get done making the colloidal silver you can test it with this and it'll tell you how many parts per million now this here if you can read it right here on the bottle I don't know if you can says 
right there. 10 parts per million. 10 ppm. Now, what is in this bottle is 27. Now, another idea, them uh, Barks Root Beer, and this not Barks, it's IBC Root Beer Bottle, right here. Just a root beer bottle. I saved the twist on cap, I made the collodial silver, poured it in there, it's in a brown bottle. I have it stored. So, this batch here will go in this brown bottle, and I'll figure out a different top. Port. It may be a cork, just a cork. But that's all you need. Don't use, do not use coins. They've got other metals in them. The silver in here is 99.9 .9 real silver, you know, pure silver. But there is other metals in it. Use bullion bars or order the rods off of eBay off the internet you can't go wrong you can make this using one battery and I've got these little clips here I'll show you how I made I order these little for one battery and then I bought a little jumper cut it in half as pot you know two gator clips on the end and uh, you can use those too but it takes longer but there you have it what to do how to do it positive and negative and positive and negative or negative and positive it doesn't matter on them silver rods so good luck and make you some collodial silver.